I'm Jennifer from Multimedia and Fiction, and today we're discussing, I wrote a book, now what? This program covers tips for those who are interested in traditional publishing. We won't cover anything related to self-publishing, but the library, of course, has those resources available too. In this video, we'll cover literary agents, query letters, and comp titles. First, <laughs> congratulations on finishing a novel. That's an incredible achievement in a, on its own. If you're still working on your novel, don't worry. The resources that we're talking about today will be just as useful for you as well. There are two main routes for someone who has finished a novel. If you're interested in being published by one of the big five, that's Hatchet, HarperCollins, Macmillan, Penguin Random House, and Simon Schuster, you'll need to query agents. If you're interested in a smaller publishing house, you can typically submit directly to the editors without an agent. We're going to focus on agents in this video. What does an agent do and how much does it cost? Literary agents submit your manuscript to editors and work to get you the best deal. Think of them like talent agents for actors. Agents do not charge reading fees up front. Instead, they work on commission and get paid after they sell your book. The industry standard is typically 15%. Now, in order to get an agent, you have to see if an agent would be interested in representing you and your work. What you'll need is a query letter, which is essentially a one-page pitch, 300 words or less, that summarizes your project. So I love the agent Eric Smith from PS Literary. Um, his website is very, very helpful, and I love that the way he summarizes what a query letter is. He says it's the hook, the book, and the cook. Now, if you go into his website, he gives you a bunch of query tips, and there are a lot of resources available, including actual queries that he received and that resulted in book deals. So this is the perfect way to see what's working and a perfect model that you can follow. The hook is what makes your book special and how it fits into the genre you're writing. The book is two to three paragraphs summarizing your book's main plot, where you make sure to address who the main character is, what that person wants, and what's the conflict or obstacle standing away and what that character wants to achieve. So we're gonna go through here a sample of a pitch for a book that I recently read, which is Here and Now and Then by Mike Chen. So if you scroll down, he includes the actual query letter. So of course you have the salutation, introduction, and then it opens straight away with the book, the protagonist, Ken Stewart, and the obstacle, which is separated from his daughter by a century. Then there are three short paragraphs where paragraph one summarizes who Ken is, a time traveling secret agent. Paragraph two introduces the inciting incident and talks about what Ken wants to be there for his daughter and to protect her. And paragraph three really underscores the obstacle and what's at stake. He's forced back to the future and puts his life on the line for his daughter. The hook here shows how this book is different and who it will appeal to. So sci-fi pe for people who hate sci-fi, and it includes really clever comps, The Time Traveler's Wife, written by Nick Hornby with a dash of Torchwood. And then Chen finishes it with his bio, which is what the cook part is. And there you have it, a pretty solid example for a queer letter. And you saw that there are also many others that you can click through and for more examples. You can also head over to Query Shark, which is actually the first place I went to start when I wanted to learn about query letters. So this blog is run by seasoned agent Janet Reed, where writers submit their queries for review and feedback. You can scroll the archives and read tons of different queries along with comments by Miss Reed pointing out what is not working. There will even be entries showing originals plus any revision. So here is the first revision. If you scroll down further, it has the original query. So it's a great way to dive into queries and read an agent's reaction. And then one huge um, shark, query shark tip that I learned is to never ever write your query letter from the voice of your character. So one thing you will need for your query letter are comp titles or comparable titles. The library has an incredible free resource to help you with this. So if you go under learning tools, learning tools again, and you scroll down to novelist plus, 
And this is going to be your favorite secret weapon for getting comp titles. So while some people know what books to compare theirs to, whether it's similar in premise or style, others might be stumped like I was. Agents want books published in the last three years. Some will accept older comps, but if it's accompanied by a more recent one. They also warn people to steer clear of big name brands like J.K. Rowling or classic writers like Jane Austen. So where do we find them? How can we use Novelist Plus for this? So let's say you've written a book like Pride and Prejudice and are bummed you can't use Austin as a comp. Well, here we go. You can go under author, type Austin. Here we go, Jane Austen. Search. And on the side over here, you're going to see read alike. So these are other authors that read like Jane Austen. So some of them will be more contemporary. But you could also go by title and do Pride and Prejudice. And you will get other books. Find the one you're looking for. And here you go. Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice, Read Alikes, A School for Brides, Death Comes to Pemberley, Bridget Jones's Diary. So you can click through the books on the side here to see what exactly will be useful to you. And if you also hover, it will show you the year that it was published. All right, so now you have a polished query letter and you are ready to find an agent. So you're thinking, where do I find a reputable agent? Well, we have a great resource here at the library, um, Writer's Market. And this is a fabulous resource that lists agents as well as book publishers, contests, awards. It's basically the one-stop shop resource for writers. So here you go, several, several copies available at the library that you can check out and use. A really helpful free resource that I found online is Query Tracker. So not only will it give you a list of a bunch of agents, it'll tell you if they're close to queries, what countries they're based in, but you can also track your queries, create your list, who's available, and then once you've submitted your queries, it'll give you information on your query status, it also gives you some really neat statistics related to acceptance rates and response times. Once you create a free account, you can search the database and add agents you think you want to query. So you can either scroll through, they have them listed here alphabetically by agency, or alternatively, if you know the name of the agent, you can go ahead and put them right in here. Click on the box. And then when you click on the query tab, you'll notice that you have a new entry. So here are the, all the agents that I selected to be who I want to query. And you can see that David and Amy are both um, not accepting queries right now. But if you click on the name, it's gonna give you a lot more information about the agent, where that person is based, you can then look and see what genres they're interested in. You can even read comments that other users have left about them. And then if you go back to the main section, it'll give you quick links to their website, blogs, and one thing that I really like is that there is the manuscript wish list that is embedded right in there for ease. It links straight to the site, and this will tell you what that agent is looking for right now. That is their manuscript wish list. What kind of books that they hope that they can find. There's more information, but this will get a better flavor about the agent, what kind of in fiction, nonfiction, so their genres, um, and then it breaks it down even more and what books they like, so that you could see if your book is a fit and then if your writing style is what that person is looking for. It also gives more submission guidelines, but again, 
it does have that right in query checker. It tells you, no, they do not want snail mail. Yes, email, and there's no online form. Some agents have the form that you have to submit through. So now all you have to do is take your query letters, add some personal touches for each agent, and go through the process of submission. Each agent will be different with what they want, but they will state that in the submission requirements, whether it's just the query letter or the query plus some sample pages. In general, you'll want to prepare the following just so you're ready to go. Prepare a solid query letter, polish your first 25 pages. Most agents will only ask for five pages, but there will be some that ask for up to 25. And then also write a one page synopsis, have that ready to go that's covering your main plot points and include the end. Yeah, they want spoilers in that, just not in the query. And then spend a lot of time researching the agents that you're interested in. Follow them on Twitter. Find out what's on their manuscript wish list, what books they like reading, what authors they love the most. That will really help you when it comes down to putting those personal touches in your query letter. Now that you have the basic tools at your disposal, you're ready to start putting your submissions together and start querying agents. It's a time investment, but so is writing a novel, and you've already done that. Uh, good luck and happy querying!